Here's a representation, a surface representation of a papillomavirus. Papillomaviruses cause warts and in some cases cancer in humans and uh, many other animals. Uh, the recently introduced vaccine against human papillomavirus 16, 18, and one or two other types is a vaccine uh, that prevents transmission of the virus which causes cervical cancer. So this surface representation shows you that these viruses, which package a double-strand DNA genome, are based on an assembly of pentameric building blocks. In this case, the pentameric building blocks are positioned not only at positions of fivefold symmetry in this icosahedral shell, but also at a general non-symmetrical position so that this pentamer is actually surrounded by six other pentamers, a fivefold peg in a six-fold hole, so to speak. This sort of assembly can nonetheless be stabilized by the same sorts of principles that we've seen in the simpler viruses, namely the tying together of rigid or relatively rigid building blocks by flexible and hence uh, uh, mul potentially multi-directional arms. So here the pentameric um, assembly of the protein L1 that forms this structure is represented here. And as you see, there are loops coming out of it, with dotted lines here, that form the interactions between the pentamers shown here. And of course, since this is a five-fold peg in a six-fold hole, its arms have to be directed in different ways. But the pentamer itself is a rigid five-fold symmetric object, just like its identical chemically identical mate here on a five-fold position. Now, this uh, subunit, the L1 subunit, is also based on the same sort of beta jelly roll building block that we saw in the positive strand RNA viruses that we were just talking about. And it's elaborated by various loops that vary from virus type to virus type. This is one of the reasons that these viruses come in a great variety of, of serotypes, of immunologically distinct types, because these loops, which are on the outside of the virus particle, that is, this is the part of the, uh, the pentamer that faces outward, and this is the part that would face inward. This would be the inside of the virus this the outside of the virus. These loops are free to vary evolutionarily because they're not so critical for the formation of the stable assembly or for forming the rigid pentamer and hence can respond, if you wish, to the pressures of um, their coevolution with the human immune response or the immune response of the particular animal that they infect. 